Sequoia Forest. Oh, it's easy to see yeah. It's common as you would. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> Druids always built their, or had their establishment around the common view. You've all come to Kew Gardens to see, at least uh, when you're at dinner one evening or you're Conversation, isn't it? Yeah. It's oh, oh. To the left hand side. Oh. Back there, let's see something about the down there. Going green, something white there. It's going inside now. The human size badger set. Sleeping areas and uh, the feeding areas as well. So you probably didn't know, but a badger only oh. lives with us. from a camera as well. Now, when yeah, you come out these bushes, <laughs> yes, it's rising. Oh, but what I want to point out to you is if you look across the other side of the Thames, you'll see a great big mansion. That mansion is the Zion House. That is the London home of the Duke of North. In fact, it's the Zion Vista. The Zion Vista. The Thames is so beautiful at this part. Where well, you can see two people in the cedars. Japanese farmhouse. 
I do uh, recommend going in there. You'll learn all about the silkworm, or at least uh, it was. Uh, the 20 different varieties of bamboo down there. So um, definitely worth wandering around the mink house. And of course, um, that's been one of the finest collections you'll find in the whole of Great Britain. That we were very fortunate, we were able to. Retired by now, I'm not too sure. And of course, we have some Egyptian ID. Let's see if we can see them. Before that, we're going down the only little hill, rather about 85. Sorry, hang on to you. everything. <laughs> 1987, that's uh, when the gardens and of course the southern part of England was hit by a storm. We call it the storm of the century. Uh, we speed this up the time, so yeah. that, uh, yeah. Sussex. But we actually lost a thousand trees. It's um, so, um, 7.2 when I present full. Having said that, overall in the Arbiton, we have 14 lowest rare, so I can the, take uh, lowest. Uh, but uh, all life yeah. really depends on the plants. They harness the sun energy, they provide the air we breathe, they give us food, fuel, shelter, and above all, they give us medicines. Because obviously when we go to the doctor and get medicine, Derived from the farm. And of course, the human population has trebled in the last 60 years. There are approximately 6.2 million of us. So we do need to support and conserve all the sustainable uses of uh, plant resources. Now we're going to make a stop here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you look off to the right, we have Martha and Arthur. Here we come. Now this clock is for the breakfast gate, as I've mentioned, and the breakfast car park. <laughs> <laughs>